Hello. So you're single and you want to try internet dating but are a little nervous. Well, don't be afraid, but you do need to be cautious. And I have some advice. There are several sites on the internet that you can become members can become a member to that will assist you in meeting other women from another country or within this country but personally I was interest, more interested in a foreign country I wanted to try something different and I was very interested in the Philippines mainly because the Filipinos speak English pretty well compared to a lot of uh, third world countries or other countries. Their English is impressive. <clears throat> so, I think I can give you some advice that would help you out. I, uh, my name is Keith. I live in Ohio in the United States. I am north of 60 years old. I'm not going to tell you how old I am north of 60. Not way north. <laughs> uh, anyway, I joined a, one of these internet sites, and I'm not going to promote one, but I joined one of them, and the next day after putting my profile on there, I was amazed at how many responses I, I received, messages, and a lot of them were young women, you know, 18, 19, 20s, too young for me to consider, or just the age gap was too much for me. And I began thinking, you know, why would all these young, beautiful women be messaging me? And, duh, uh, hello. It wasn't because I looked like Brad Pitt, <laughs> but I... You know, realize that the financial situation in the Philippines is desperate in, in some areas, absolutely terrible. So that you know they're doing what they have to do to to succeed. Not that they're gold diggers. Some of them may be, but most of them are just they want a chance in life. So how can you blame them? But realistically, if you uh, dated someone that's 30, 40 years your senior, in my opinion, that probably is not going to work out in the long run. Uh, I wanted someone closer to my age, so I come up with a rule of 10 years. I would consider 10 years to be doable. So one day I'm going through deleting the, you know, the ones older or younger than I, my goodness, the age difference was 10 years or more. And I got this message, I received a message, because you can tell when someone's online. <clears throat> I got this message. Uh, do you feel like chatting? It's from a very pretty uh, Filipina. Well, before I answered yes or no, clicked yes or no, I clicked on her profile so I could, you know, get some information on her. And right off the bat, I see where she has two two kids, two daughters, one 10 and one 13. I, don't hold me to that, but 10 or 13. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, do I want to go through that again, raising children? I'm 51 years old at the time. And... Uh, I said, well, what's it going to hurt just to talk? You know, I don't want to hurt her feelings. She's very pretty. And I might learn some things about the Philippines because, quite frankly, I didn't know anything. This was all new. I accepted her chat, and we conversed for, my goodness, two, three hours. And she was, she was funny. She was adorable. I found her genuine, and uh, so it it uh, 
turned out to be a life-changing experience for me. We spoke daily, you know, several times for weeks. And she asked me one day if I would just talk to her exclusively and no one else. And I said, I have no problem with that. And she wanted to stop uh, meeting on this dating site just for, you know, her, her uh, confidence. So she, she would know that I wasn't conversing with other Filipinas. And I had no problem doing that. So we started using Skype, and that's something you might want to try. Of course, now there's several other ways of communicating to foreign, to fo in foreign countries. Um, Skype's one. I know Messenger's one. FaceTime, Face FaceTime. There's several, and they're free. They don't cost anything. So you want to try to do that. But anyway, I got back. You know, when when she asked me about just talking to her exclusively, it got me to thinking, you know, about all the, and I mean hundreds of young women that were messaging me, you know, and why. And I don't want to be scammed, and I don't want to be ripped off, and I need to know. I just need to know. And, and so I come up with this plan. I made another account on the same site, different name, I lived in a different state, you know, it was an alias, of, it was not me. And I messaged this young woman, 10 years younger than me. I'm going to call her young because to me she is. Um, I sent her a message from this other account, this alias, asking her if she'd be interested in maybe starting a relationship And she messaged that person back saying, I'm sorry, uh, I've already found someone on this site, on, on this site, yes, correct, that I'm interested in. Uh, I wish you luck. I hope you find your special someone. And she ended the message. I got to tell you, that, that helped me a lot. I felt bad about it. I felt like it was deceitful, but, you know, at 51 years old, another foreign country, you know, the, the troubles, the, the things that you're going to have to go through if this relationship, you know, progresses into marriage, you don't want to go through all of that and then find yourself <laughs> in a divorce or she's, as soon as she gets to the U.S., which this happens, you know, a lot of, a lot of Americans <clears throat> have started relationships with foreign women, and as soon as they hit the skids off the plane, they're gone. Like it or not, it happens. But that shouldn't, you know, cause you not to want to pursue this, because I find, my, I find myself, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have met this woman. We ended up married, and we've been married now for seven years. We've been together nine years, but we've been married seven years. And just like any marriage, there's some ups and downs, but uh, she's a wonderful woman. Wonderful and pretty, very pretty. And we get along very well. She's my partner. And if this, if uh, this is something you, you, you're looking for, then by all means do it. But you do need to be careful. You must be careful because not that all the women are bad, but they're desperate. So look at it realistically. If this woman is gorgeous and 20 and you're 60, realistically, are you going to have anything in common? And then are, are they going to stick around once they come to the U.S.? I don't know. And it doesn't have to be necessary. This advice isn't just for the United Americans. It's for anybody. You know, Europe, anywhere. These women are good women, but they're desperate. But once they, their needs are met, what's to say that they're going to stick around? Honestly. Think about it.
but that's what I did to test my 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 wife and and some of you may disagree but I needed to know I just had to know so I hope this was helpful for you I, I'm going to try to do a video on you so you've met someone and you want to go meet them in person I'm going to try to do a video on that that might be helpful for you as well so stay tuned for that video and and I hope everything's goes well for you and I hope you meet that special someone and see you later and please like and subscribe and comment I'd like to hear your comments if you have a question you know I'm not I'm no genius but I've been around a little while so if you have a question please ask in the comment section and, and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can take care